Hey guys, it's Anna and Will from Smart. Today we're going to talk about some of the other features that Goodreader has to offer, including backing up your files to your computer or to Dropbox, as well as syncing your GNN um, SharePoint file to your Goodreader application and also the iPad to iPad function for sharing between iPads. All right, so the first thing we're going to cover is to um, back up any of your files from your Goodreader uh, application to your computer. Uh, and this is a good time since we just finished the HSFD block. So let's go ahead. Uh, for this, you'll need an iTunes uh, application uh, on your computer. So uh, here's our iTunes application. And um, notice that um, my iPad isn't plugged in yet. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my iPad and you'll notice a change on the left over here. And notice that my iPad is right over here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go over to Apps. And notice that under Apps we have our Good Reader. So I'm going to click on that. And Goodreader has some documents that we want from it, and um, in particular, we have this HSFD folder that we're going to go ahead and copy over to our desktop. So I'm going to click on HSFD, click on Save To, and where do I want to save it? I think I want to save it onto the desktop here, and then I'm just going to go over here and click Open. And while it's copying, you'll notice that uh, there's a little progress bar on top here, and it's uh, just copying all your files. Uh, uh, copying times may vary depending on how big the block is. In this case, this is just a sample of HSFD, so normally it would take a lot longer. So, when it's finished, it'll come back to normal. And we're going to minimize this just to show you that, yes, we do have our HSFD folder copied to uh, our computer. And notice that we can click on one of the lectures and we have it. Okay, now we're going to show you how to back up your files from Goodreader to your Dropbox account. Go ahead and refer back to the old Smartcast if you need to figure out how to set up a Dropbox account and connect it to your Goodreader application. Go ahead and click Upload down at the bottom and choose the folder that or file that you want to upload to Dropbox and click on it and click Upload. Uh, depending on how big the file is, it's going to take a while. We just sped this up for the video. And now you'll find it in your Dropbox account. All right, so now we click on Goodreader to get in. Uh, we're going to click on uh, any of our connect to servers, in this case our GNN. Uh, we want to sync our GenX and Weebly to 2011, so we're going to go ahead and select that, and it turns green. We're going to select the middle button, uh, Sync, and yes, we want to proceed with that. And now we, uh, where do we want to sync it to? And in this case, I want to sync it to my documents, so I'm going to click on Download and Sync Here. Now we have some options. Here, uh, we want to turn download only sync to on. Um, on some servers, you can uh, have it sync both ways, but in our case, we just want to sync to um, just uh, to our iPad. And we also want to turn delete local files off in case uh, a lecturer uh, edits a file after the fact. We don't want it to overwrite our annotated copy. So we want to turn that to off and hit sync. And now it's going to automatically start syncing with the uh, directory. Uh, notice that the, we have a new folder in our My Documents called Genetics and Neoplasia 2011. And we can see that uh, there's lots of files in there. And there's also a green dot indicating that we're syncing it. So now if you want to sync uh, in the future, you just click on the sync button on the uh, right. That synced all of it, but if you want to sync this individual folder, uh, just uh, click on Web Downloads and click on Genex and Neoplasia. All right, so let's just say you have a file that you want to share to a classmate with an iPad and you don't have a computer. You can do that with uh, just an iPad to iPad sharing. So here we have an awesome cat uh, PDF that we created, and we also annotated it. This is an awesome cat. 
So now I'm going to go back and we want to share it with the classmate. So you notice some icons on the bottom over here. Uh, on the bottom right, we're going to click on the little Wi-Fi thing and notice that we have the Wi-Fi transfer going. And the connection is waiting unless uh, the other iPad is connected and then it says established. Alright, on the second iPad, uh, we want to uh, connect to servers. Scroll down to uh, reload list of local servers, go ahead and click on that. And then click on the iPad that shows up because it's already sharing. Uh, in this case, uh, that file, the awesome cat was under HFSD. Now we're going to go ahead and click awesome cat and click download. And we're going to go ahead and save it under my documents. And notice that under my documents, we have a new full file called uh, awesomecat.pdf, and it's in blue, indicating that it is a new file. And that concludes episode 7 of SmartCast. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you need any help, please come to our office hours. Thank you.